Squids getting resurrected, snakes coming back from the dead, whales getting exploded, and worms vanishing into thin air. Today's list will show you why you should never dare to touch these animals, dead or alive. Headless Rattlesnake Here, witness this mind-blowing phenomenon. This rattlesnake has been decapitated, but that's still not stopping it from being alive. Look how it is flaunting its tongue. How cool is that? But how is this possible? Have they turned into zombies? Here, this one is moving despite being headless. The answer to this lies in the snake's physiology. Snakes are cold-blooded, hence they don't need as much oxygen to fuel the brain, and can probably live for minutes or even hours after being decapitated. Their whole body just needs some time to realize that it's time for them to pass away. Before we move any further, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon so you can keep watching our amazing content. Snapping Turtle The snake wasn't the only unique thing we had on the list. See this, for instance. This is how an alligator snapping turtle bites. If you previously thought of turtles being harmless, cute, and cuddly, think again. Because with the bite force of a thousand pounds per square inch that could snap through bone, you would be a fool not to maintain your distance from them. Turns out that just like snakes, they too can bite even after the head becomes decapitated from the body. It is said that their heart can beat for a good five hours after getting removed from the body. I'm telling you, these turtle hearts will outlive us all. Zebra exploding. This is a general rule, never to go near or touch an animal that is dead for some time. But perhaps this mule leopard didn't hear it as it decided to make a meal out of an expired zebra. What it didn't expect is that even though it's not alive, the zebra can still fully retaliate to its bad intentions. A shower of liquidy buildup burst in its face, scaring it. The smell must be nauseating, because look at him, he's literally gagging. I suppose he is considering becoming vegan. The water balloon that came from its body is probably the buildup of gases that reacted with the body fluid. Exploding Sea Worm This is a sea worm, okay? And now, I'm gonna show you a little magic. No, I'm not gonna make it disappear, but I will make it poof. Here it goes! In just a matter of nanoseconds, the sea worm exploded, dispersing itself into the water. Why did it do that? Well, that's because this is its means to reproduce. As the body explodes, the sea worm disperses its gametes, and this special way of reproduction is known as epitalky. Unfortunately, this interesting reproduction comes with a cost, as the worm passes away in the act, sacrificing itself for the future generation. Exploding Ants as we're talking about sacrifices, meet the most macho ant ever, Colobopsis sondersi, aka the exploding ants. At the time of grave danger, these ants rip themselves apart to protect their fellows, releasing a yellowish goo resembling a curry. Ew, look at that yellowy goo! The ant lacks large mandibles, so it cannot sting and generally seems an easy target for any predator until they decide to self-sacrifice for the greater good. Okay, brace yourself, because now it's going to get a little gross. Is this queen ant giving birth to maggot larvae? No, it's more like they're exploding out of her body. This happens when a parasite like a bee forcefully injects its eggs into the ant's body. Hippo exploding on lion's face. Just as we showed you before that dead animals can spook their predators with little explosions, here a pride of lions appeared on the scene where a lion was already munching on a hippo. The pride approached it, and after hearing some weird grumbling sounds, they backed off. The lion again dared to approach the hippo carcass, but this is what he got in return! The gas got released via his orifice, traumatizing the lion for good or worse. As the hippo's corpse was already pretty bloated, there was a lot of methane gas inside it caused by the decomposition. Camel Bursting I know the chances of this are pretty slim, but if you ever come across a carcass of the ship of the desert, don't you dare touch it. 
Maintain your distance and stay as far away as possible because it can explode its guts onto you. It doesn't always happen, but the probability of this happening is very common because when a camel expires, all the stored water in its body doesn't digest, but mixes with bodily gases, making methane and other combustible gases that could blow with a simple touch. The bacteria in the animal's intestinal tract grow in an uncontrolled manner, which results in the bloating of the whole body, with the internal organs inflating to double size. Pufferfish. All of you know that the pufferfish can inflate its body with a huge amount of water and air in the face of an imminent threat, exposing its spiky body. But can this huge balloon explode? Yes and no. When it comes out of the water, there is nothing much it can do, so it deflates itself. Look at this one secreting all the stored water from its mouth. And here, the cat is performing an experiment to blow it. Well, ripped to both, as the toxins releasing from the fish's skin will be more than adequate to place this cat into eternal slumber. So if you like living, stay away from them at all costs, and never dare to touch them. Termites Explosion Just like the ants, these termites also explode to protect their colony, and this one is ready to rain some liquid artillery on its enemies. They have a pack of chemicals stored in their bodies, which comes in handy in times of fighting off an intruder. This act is done by the old worker bees, as they have the most toxic blue crystals secreted by a specialized pair of glands on their abdomens. Most of the explosion happens internally in the body, with organs damaged in the process. This picture shows an uncomfortably huge carcass laying on the beach. What will happen if anyone will try to poke it? Let's show you what! Exploding Whale I guess it's pretty self-explanatory what's gonna happen if anyone will touch this whale carcass. Residents of Trout River, Newfoundland, Canada came across this gigantic blue whale that after a few days of decomposition turned into a full-fledged balloon. Now, I've already told you the answer to this mystery is the buildup and accumulation of gases in its body. The residents maintained their distance from it, but as usual, scientists approach them for a post-mortem, and this is what happens. The boom is generally so strong that it can seriously hurt the person standing near it. Pus Caterpillar if you come across this cute and cuddly, crawling insect that resembles a blonde mustache, kindly maintain your distance, because it can do this! What looks like soft, furry skin is actually hiding sharp spikes inside it. The barbs are filled with poisonous stings, which, when come in contact with the skin, can result in excruciating pain for weeks. In rare cases, it can even lead to anaphylactic shock. The caterpillar can grow to a little over one inch long and is covered in gray and orange hairs, which have venom glands at the base. They are harmless as adults, but total hotheads in adolescence. You and I definitely can't differentiate, so don't dare to touch. Porcupine. Now everyone knows the only thing that makes this rodent unique or special is the feature of having sharp quills on its whole body. Anyone who dares to mess with them gets this. The quills detach when someone touches them and gets stuck in the skin, and getting them detached is quite a task because you can't just pull them out. When pulled, they tend to move more inward, and the deeper they get into the skin, the more painful they get, and also cause more infections. Some people think they can shoot these quills, but that's not true. They just get stuck to those who take the risk of poking them. Brazilian Wandering Spider This deadly arachnid is famous for delivering a potent poison with its one bite that, if not treated timely, could result in some serious consequences. Its neurotoxin is designed to attack the central nervous system, it is also known as the banana spider due to its practice of hiding in banana boxes imported from Brazil and entering the United States. Their bodies are covered in thick brown hair. They are nocturnal and actively hunt at night. 
look at this one on the man's leg. Because of the toxicity of their bite and their threatening appearance, these spiders have a reputation for being aggressive. Immortal Squid There is a special Japanese street food dish called the Dancing Squid Bowl. In that bowl, a dead squid is resurrected and made to dance. It consists of a fresh squid served on top of rice or noodles. When the soy sauce is poured on top of the squid, it begins dancing. This happens due to the squid's muscles reacting with the sodium present in soy sauce, which forces it to break a leg. Now, as much as it sounds weird, it totally looks amusing and gives the squid a resurrected feel. Many exotic food lovers try it, and I won't forbid touching it. So also, go ahead and eat it all you want, but only if you can digest all the grossness. Fire Belly Toad This is another animal on the touch me not list, and just let me say that touching them will put you in eternal sleep. These unusual toads have a pretty unique trick up their sleeve. They have been observed to occasionally play dead to confuse the predator and let them touch their body, which they already covered with a secreted milky substance. That substance is obviously a toxin that irritates the mouth and eyes of the attacker. Firebelly toads' brightly colored skin also attracts potential predators towards them, but once they come near it, it's game over for them. Side Guild Slug Slugs are perceived as harmless by people, but mind you, as this side guild slug found deep in the oceans have enough toxin that a single touch can put at least four adults into an eternal sleep. These blobs of jellies make the toxic compound tetrodotoxin, a neurotoxin also found in pufferfish that can paralyze a person in seconds and kill within an hour. Most have colored bodies with different patterns on them to warn the predators to stay away. Mostly dogs become their target, and the symptoms like overexcitement, tremors, seizures, drooling, and vomiting can be seen frequently. Octopus Revenge This one is my ultimate favorite, and should come off as a warning to all the exotic food lovers out there who don't hesitate one bit before trying outrageous food trends. This girl started a live stream while attempting to gobble up an octopus live. The octopus turned on its fight mode, and the rest is history. The octopus defends itself by sticking to her face with its suckers. After starting the whole fiasco, she had the audacity to complain. Girl, you were doing the same thing to it. Why are you crying after the karma? Gila Monster Why a monster? Well, that's because this two foot long and more than five pound heavy lizard is the largest native lizard in the States. Not only is it monstrous due to its size, but the lizard also has a pack of venom about as toxic as that of a western diamondback rattlesnake. It has been determined that, however, a relatively small amount of venom is introduced in a gila bite, these monsters hold on to a predator for more than 10 minutes. Also, there is no anti-venom for the gila bites. What's the most interesting thing about this lizard is that its venom is being used to save human lives. Scientists have discovered that they have a potential treatment in type 2 diabetes. Box Jellyfish Box jellyfish take the crown of being the most venomous marine animal. If you ever come across this one, it's most probably game over for you. They may look pretty harmless, but one bite can send you to Davy Jones' locker, aka a watery grave. Divers swimming in the water get the most affected by them. The tentacles are covered with tiny darts loaded with poison. Within a few moments of getting stung, a person experiences paralysis, cardiac arrest, and eventually death. Many divers don't even get a chance to swim out and pass away in the water. But don't go choosing mountains over oceans just yet, as there are over more than 50 species of box jellyfish and only a few are equipped with venom. Africanized Honeybees Meet the bullies of the bee kingdom, the Africanized honeybees, also known as the killer bees. They are much more aggressive and defensive than any other bee variety. They have the ability to chase a person some 400 miles. 
Also, they have been credited to have killed more than a thousand humans, with victims receiving 10 times more stings than average European honeybees. Africanized honeybees are pretty vindictive too. There's a report of a group of them finishing off a tractor driver who accidentally ran his tractor over their colony. They surround their victim in the multitudes, hundreds or maybe thousands, and then swoop, sting, and inject venom into their flesh. Flamboyant Cuttlefish Just like the name, the appearance is also flamboyant, but don't let it deceive you. It lies at the bottom of the ocean, camouflaging itself with its surroundings. A toxicology report has confirmed that the muscle tissue of flamboyant cuttlefish is highly toxic, making it only the third cephalopod found to be poisonous. One thing that people confuse about it is that it is poisonous, not venomous. It can't directly transfer its poison through bites or stings. It contains toxic chemicals which can become harmful when eaten. Studies have shown that the toxin of flamboyant cuttlefish is as lethal as that of blue-ringed octopus. Tarantula Hawk Interestingly, contrary to its name, the tarantula hawk is neither a tarantula nor a hawk. This harmless-looking insect is capable of delivering the most painful wasp sting in the world. Just like the others on this list, we should obviously stay away from them but they are especially the stuff of nightmares for the spiders. Even the biggest, hairiest spiders run away from them in terror. People who have been stung describe it as immediate, excruciating, unrelenting pain that simply shuts down one's ability to do anything except for scream. The tarantula hawk has been awarded the position of second place on the Schmidt Sting Pain Index, beaten only by the South American bullet ant. Giant Silkworm Moth This menacing-looking caterpillar warns everyone by its looks to stay away from it. But if you are too stupid to pay no heed to my warning, just know that one innocent touch will result in leukocytosis, anemia, bruising, hematuria, hematoma, vomiting, nausea, headache, a burning sensation at the sight, swelling, redness, and excruciating pain. They camouflage well in their surroundings and have rows of tubercles crowned with whorls of easily detachable spines of different sizes. These spines on the body can puncture the skin, releasing venom into the body. The little giant silkworm moth is responsible for numerous human deaths every year, particularly in southern Brazil. Elephant Boom During the autopsy of deceased elephants, an elephant boom is pretty common. When it passes away, the bacteria inside its body start to decompose to satisfy its hunger and produce natural gases like methane inside the carcass. As it is no longer alive and the digestive system is not functioning, the gas cannot exit anywhere and keeps accumulating inside, and the pressure inside the elephant becomes so high that if you pierce even a little bit of its body, it will explode. And at the same time, if the elephant's body fails to withstand the pressure, it might even explode by itself without any external pressure or anything. The pressure is so high that it is advised that it can tear away the body of a person standing nearby. Fire Corals These stingy, painful, and master of disguise corals aren't really corals in reality. They are closer to jellyfish than stony corals. The bright yellow-green corals are often mistaken by divers as seaweed, and upon contact, they deliver an intense pain that can last from two days to two weeks. Prominent side effects include irritation, stinging or burning pain, skin redness, fever, hives, and more. Their venom is non-lethal to humans, but if you don't mind the things I just mentioned, well, be my guest and dare to poke them. Blue Glaucus now, this one here is pretty interesting. If you're thinking that these little fellows are venomous, and I'll definitely tell you to never touch them, y'all are wrong. Blue Glaucus isn't venomous by themselves, but when they feed on their favorite food, the Portuguese Man of War, they store the stinging nematocysts created by the prey's notoriously long venomous tentacles. One sting from this little guy can lead to nausea, pain, vomiting, acute allergic contact dermatitis, and post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. 
So it's safe to say that when you encounter one, just try to admire it from far away. Toxic Newts Scientists have discovered a deadly, neurotoxin-producing bacteria that resides on the skin of rough-skinned newts. This not-so-exotic creature is capable of producing enough poison to finish off 20 grown humans. Just like many other poisonous animals, this one's poison is also composed of tetrodotoxin. Like every wild animal, they use this to prey. But interestingly, some snakes have developed resistance to their venom, and in response, these newts have cranked up their venom dosage to double. If any human will make the mistake of ingesting them, his head will probably be induced paralysis or demise from asphyxiation. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.